All right, let's see if we can find the domain of this rational function. We have x plus 5 divided by x squared minus 6x minus 7. As we've already talked about, <clears throat> the domain for these rational functions can be all real x values except anywhere that would make just the denominator be 0 because any x values that make the denominator be 0, you'd have division by 0, and that's undefined. So what we're going to do is we'll take uh, this denominator here off to the side. I'll jot it down here. We'll have x squared minus 6x minus 7. We'll set that equal to 0, and then we're going to see where, where is that true? Where is this guy equal to 0? So this is a quadratic, so it looks like he'll factor. I think this one would factor as x minus 7 times x plus 1. Set that equal to 0. And as you know, when you have a quadratic that's factored and set equal to 0, then you can set each of these individual factors to 0. So we would get x equals 7 and x equals negative 1 if we set each of those equal to 0 there. So what, what does that mean? Does that mean this is our domain? No, absolutely not. These are, these are in fact the x values that are not in the domain. So for our final answer, we would say that the domain, we say that the domain is going to be all real numbers, and this is you can either write the words all real numbers in English, or a common symbol is a capital R with an extra bar out front. That's a, a math symbol that means all real numbers, uh, except except we have to take out um, negative 1 and we have to take out 7. So we have to take out negative 1 and 7. So you can either write it that way or you can write x equals negative 1 comma x equals 7. That, that doesn't really matter too much. So in um, any case, this is the domain of this particular rational function.